face a final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Shadowcat back with more Star Trek Cosmo Tier. And last time we were here, we finished exploring the sector. We're done. Not only that, but we made some upgrades to the Fanged Freighter, gave it even more engines, so maybe it'll keep up a little bit better this time. It's also got a little bit better defense from the back. Still dual layers of armor, but now we've got four shields back here. So that'll protect us from direct shots from the rear. However, there's a bit of a gap right here. That if something gets in, we're in trouble. But there's only so much I can do about that. Anyway, though. We're done here. And so that means it's time for us to move on. That means, looking at this place, this is an 11 to 13 level area. We are going down to Ituisules, I think. It's my best guess, at least. But this is an 11 to 13, this is a 12 to 14, so this is our next step up. After that, we head back into Monolith territory at Icordexos. But that's going to be a little bit of a ways off. So, Ituisules is where we have to go. And that is down there. Now, I've already gone through and made sure that everyone is basically full up on... Crystals, so we should have no problem feeding the warp core so that we can get in there. At least as far as I can tell. But we should go in there, get our, our initial survey done, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be able to accumulate a bit more fame. Because we're in need of people. The Akira... Only has 110 out of a suggested 381. It's only running about one quarter capacity. The Enterprise is a bit better, running it 165 out of 236. And the Excelsior running at 135 out of 191. Better, but still not great. And the Fanged Freighter... Um, it's got 144 out of a suggested 283, but that's mostly just because of all the point defense that's on it. We've also upgraded all of our ships. We are now running much more potent weaponry. Higher intensity phasers and higher capacity warheads. The Akira has actually become kind of a nightmare. Dude, watch where you're flying. Yeah, the Akira is, is going to be bad. It, it's going to be awful to fight against. But let's see. We need 26, 38, 59, 40. We've got 100 in each one of them. We are just waiting for the warp field to stabilize on the fanged freighter. I don't know why we're waiting on them, but we are. Oh, something here is missing, but I don't know what. What could possibly be missing here? Oh, wait, we probably don't have antimatter, actually. There we go. That's got it ready. Make a little bit more antimatter. Okay, and we're going to turn that off. All right, we are ready to go then. So select everyone, and that's the button. Okay. 
Okay, welcome to Itui Sulez. There is a station right there. I don't know if we can actually get there or not uh, by warp, but maybe. Here we go. Um, no, no, we cannot. So, can, well, no, I don't want to jump you in there just in case there's something bad there. All right, we're going to go together. We're going to go together. So we're going to go there and then set a course for there. Please do not run into the relay. What is wrong with you people? This was a very simple maneuver. All right, and anything that we come across on our way in is just, you know, a head start. There should be a lot to discover, actually. In fact, there's something right there. What is it? I don't know. Probably pirate territory. Oh, there's two of them. And one of them is absolutely pirate territory. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you follow the Akira. And the rest of us over here... We are going to maneuver into this position. We're going to let them come to us. I think. There's three signals over here. And two pirate territories. I wonder if they're fighting. All right, we're going to investigate this. This could be a massive advantage for us. All right, what do we got here? Oh no, they are absolutely in combat. Okay. Well, we are going to help out. Oh, there is a tier 12 haymaker over there. We're going to go fight that. And a tier 12 impaler. Not the toughest things that we fought so far. It is in a lot of trouble though. And speaking of trouble, What just happened? Did one of the torpedoes just blow out half of the Enterprise? Okay, one ship down. There's a tier 12 impaler down there. Turn your attention. Fanged Freighter is bringing the heat with nuclear weaponry. Oh, there's a Tier 13 Sledgehammer over there launching just an absolute ton of missiles. However, it's being fired on by the Impaler. What are you two doing up here? All right, well, that ship is gone. And this one's going to have a real hard time. Okay, we need to take out those engines. Ooh, good shot! Go for the engines, though. All 
Oh, we have somebody lost back here. Okay, hold on. Never mind. Pull back. We have crew in need of rescue. Many crew, actually. And while we're at it... I'm going to set both these tractor beams to hold and set them to fire at will. Okay, please just find a spot and stop there. And I have one person coming over here. Oh, I see. We lost a warp coil. Well, that's not good. Also, we had stuff turned off for the trip in here. We need to get these turned back on. Turn that back on there. And turn these back on. It's especially important for the Akira. Alright, so, um, now they got everyone back on board, I'm going to send everybody in independently. I don't want you to necessarily coordinate on this one because I don't want you to slow each other down. And can you not run into each other? All right, as soon as you've got the shot, take it. Here it comes. Oh, that did it. I, I think that did it. That is the hammer. Okay, let's do some repairs. Thankfully, the freighter is here with us. So whatever we need, we've got. And Excelsior. A little bit of damage to the engineering section, but mostly it's those warp coils. Okay, and there we go. That is three signals done right off the bat. Okay, in fact, Freighter, you need to be coming along with. You're not as fast as the rest, but that's okay. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the... I'm going to assume that the end is... Silent. Would you all gather around one of the satellites and stop pushing on the actual space station? Alright, let's contact them. So, first things first. This is the Nidityr just I can't pronounce that. Um, Renegade Pack. We did that. Clear an asteroid field? We did that. A pirate base? We did not. So we got these two things. And we are going to start exploring. We already have three out of 14 done. And there's people here. Lots and lots of people. If we can actually get a bunch of crew and keep a bunch of crew, we might be able to build a new ship. I would definitely like to build a new ship. But I'm going to take everybody from here. I mean, the Akira wants us to have upwards of almost 400 people. This is going to help us run things. I hope. Mm -hmm. 
Now, that puts it up to 158. It's not the best shape we've been in, but it's going to be good enough for now. Okay. Time for us to get started, then. We know there's a signal there, but we're actually going to go to here. And initial survey, of course, is going to be through the asteroid belt. As usual. What do we got here? Hold on. No, really hold on. What is this? That is a tier 14 ship. It's the first one that we've seen. What are we up against here? This is a tier 14 Turis Subortis. It has multiple missile launchers, a midship, lots of thrusters. Looks pretty maneuverable. It's got some launchers aft as well. Two primary beams, each one of them powered by four of these, these crystals, or four of these emitters. And that's it, that's the primary weapon. And right now it is burning right through the middle of this also tier 14 magistrate, which is clearly a ramming ship. However, given the amount of armor on the front of this Turi ship, and the fact that these beams are able to go right through to the the, uh, the main hull, I don't think they got a chance. Oh yeah, those beams are burning right through faster than it can get through the armor. And again, even though the ship is disabled, it's still fighting back. Or at least it was still fighting back. It's not fighting back anymore. Okay, well, that's our competition. Well, it's not our fight to get into, so we're not getting into it. This, however, they're coming straight for us on an attack vector. What is this? A tier 10 luminary. This is also clearly a ramming vessel. However, tractor beams are slowing it down. Go ahead and target the, the uh, primary power core. Well, that did it. And speaking of did it, look at the Excelsior. Everything it did went right through the middle. Treated the armor like it wasn't even there. We can't keep taking this kind of damage. We've got triple shields on the front in addition to the deflectors. All right, just in case there's anything in here that we need. I want you to take care of those. In the meantime, there's a tier eight blinding light over here. We're gonna handle this. Akira, you're gonna be one of the first contacts. Have the hammer ready. And it does look ready. Power core is right in the middle. They're launching missiles. Here comes the hammer.
reflector shields on the Akira are holding. Pause on the tractor beams. Quantum torpedoes right into the power core. It's gone. Why did you follow? The entire crew is outside, and you followed them into battle. I thought I gave you explicit orders to salvage. Recover all the crew. Now, let's try this again. Begin salvage operations. All right, and in the meantime, no damage, no damage, no damage. We came away no worse for wear. Alright, how are we doing over here? Collecting crystals. Good. Okay, I think we're fine here. So, I am going to attach you to the Akira, and we are going to resume. We're still only at four signals out of 14. We've got to do better. A tier 12 ship, a Stella class. Stella something, I couldn't read it fast enough. What else we got? There's that signal there. We already knew about that one. That one's new, however. And we have something coming straight at us. This is a tier 10 luminary rammer. Tractor beams need to be on. Need to hold it in place. And we need to engage. Go right down the middle. And I mean, hold it. What part of hold it did you not understand? Push. Ooh, lots of torpedoes coming in. A lot of those torpedoes overshot and came in from the rear. They absolutely shredded it from the aft. Whew, bad day for him. However, also a bad day for the Excelsior. Heavy damage to the forward saucer. There we go. Damage repaired. Okay. There's another ship out here. We are going to go ahead and pause tractor beams. And I'm not even taking chances on this one. It's a hostile signature. We're engaging. What is it? A tier 8 blinding light. Again. Unfortunately, these asteroids are going to... make my firing... Trajectory is a little bit hard. Not to mention, dragging the corpse of that ship along with us is going to do the same thing. But here it comes.
Target the main power core. That did it. Ripped it in half. All right. And there's another ship over here coming in. I guess today we're going to be bullies. That is a tier 12 flaming spire. I remember that ship. That is a piece of work. Okay. It is also a ramming vessel. So. All tractor beams are going to repel. And freighter, I need you to get out of here. Burn. Now. Ooh. That did it. Chain reaction. All right, you are going to be set to follow again. I mean, that was a lot. I mean, I, I suppose when you're fighting only one of those ships, they're not really all that scary. It's just, you know, when you're fighting two or three of them. Plus help. I mean, there, there's going to be, um, there's going to be more pirate bases out here that we're going to have to deal with. We did pretty well in that last one. We, we did, we did pretty well in the last one. Now, what are we doing here? Besides getting caught on asteroids. Well, I don't know what that signal was, but it's gone. We're not catching it. So we move forward. Oh, then again. Turn your ships around. We're going in. Don't know what we're up against? We will find out soon. It is another one. It's a flaming spire. Why did you just fire all the torpedoes into the Enterprise? You just absolutely annihilated the entire port nacelle of the Enterprise. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm absolutely stunned. Who the hell's side are you on? You threw the entire hammer into the Enterprise. I don't know if I can keep using the Akira like this. I don't know if I can keep using you like this. Would you operate the ship like somebody with a brain? Now, salvage. We have another hostile contact. I don't know if it's going to bother us or not, but we'll be ready just in case. It may actually bother us. It is a tier 12 Archibus. Well, 
Suffer not the pirate. Here comes the hammer. Oh wait, hold on. Not you. You guys. Target the, the, um, yeah, target the thrusters. He's got a lot of incoming missiles. Deflector shields are holding, though. Okay, Akira, I want you to adjust over here. And Enterprise. You've already got him in a tractor beam. I want you to plant yourself and stop him from moving. The rest of you, engage. I think it's largely defenseless at this point. I think it's very defenseless at this point. Yep, they're all fleeing the ship. Okay, did you actually take any damage? Very little to the forward armor. Good enough. Let's see, Excelsior. Same thing, just a little bit up there. And... Oh, and the shield generator. Enterprise? Nothing. Good enough for me. We're making this, this solar system a little bit safer. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. We have taken some pretty significant damage. We've already lost crew uh, since we got here. But by and large, we have handled everything. Okay, what do we got here? We're getting involved in a fight, I know that much. Okay, Enterprise. I want you to come around to this side. Excelsior, come around to this side. Just to get out of the way of the Akira. Incoming. Wow! Those torpedoes literally ripped half of the ship off. I mean... That was brutal in a way I didn't even expect. Okay, and we're still only at 6 out of 14 signals. We've got to get moving here. We have only gotten about a third of the way around. Which, I mean, when you think about the size of a, of a solar system, that's not bad. You know, one third, around the, or one third of our way around the asteroid belt? It's actually a lot of distance covered. What do we got here? Oh, a Neutron class. It is also a ramming ship, but one that we can handle. So we're going to target the power cores. And I want you to move around to one side... I want you to move around to the other side. We've done this kind of thing before. 
I'm gonna save these attack defaults because I don't want you to get hit again by the hammer. And here it comes. Oh, they're pathing differently this time. Instead of hitting the Enterprise, they hit an asteroid. But they're coming around from the rear. Ooh! Completely folded one part of it. It's actually crashing into the fanged freighter. All right, that ship has been disabled. All right, not bad. Uh, really, not bad. I almost wish the Fang Freighter had some better weapons on it, honestly. Because these little lasers are not doing anything. We can investigate possibilities there later. You know, once we have found enough signals. If we have time. Which, so far, we have not had time. Okay, looks like we have another pirate coming in. Time to play bully again. Maybe. I suppose it depends on whether we catch it or not. It's leading us into more pirate territory. It may be looking for reinforcements. Or maybe taking refuge here. Um... At any rate, we're going to make contact with the pirate control in this territory before we catch them. Okay, prepare to engage. This is a tier 13. Caladrius. It looks very similar to the Neutron. However, it's got a very, very large beam array. We're going to go after the power cores, as usual. And Akira, bring the hammer. Here we go, all six, right down the middle. Heavy impacts on the forward armor. Oh, it has a lot of flak on the front, actually. Okay, we're having a hard time maneuvering into position around this thing because we keep pushing it. Ooh, one side is gone. Beginning targeting on the second side. And that other ship is coming back. It is a Tier 13 Auditor. Okay. It's disabled. We need to regroup. Too late. Tractor beams need to hold him at bay. This is a ramming ship. With a lot of cannons. Incoming fire. Active defenses. Screen. Torpedoes are doing a fair amount of damage. Fanged Freighter, you are in a bad position. You need to get out of there. Okay. Excelsior, you are in a worse position. Our 
Are any of you actually targeting the power core? Power core is gone. And just in time, too. Okay. We need a moment. We, we need a moment here. We have got to make repairs. We've got to rearm. Looks like it did a lot of damage to the outer layer of armor. We did lose a thruster. Otherwise, though, the Excelsior came out okay. The Enterprise, however, damage to the forward nacelle, minor damage to the forward saucer section. And the Akira, just fine. Now, let's salvage this thing for everything it's worth. If it's worth anything at all. Alright, very good. That'll help keep our, our stores in place. Time to get back on the trail. We're up to eight, but we still have a lot of ground to cover. And we have another one coming in at us? This is a tier 13 EOS. Tell me tractor beams are on. Tractor beams are on. You are pushing, yes? Oh, great. This thing is a rammer, but because of the orientation, everything is kind of off-kilter. That might actually be saving the Excelsior right now. Although saving is a rather loose definition. Do not let that beam get inside the shields! What are you doing? The Enterprise got the shot in. The ship has been completely annihilated. 